Hey guys and gals, let's continue on with the Dry Bowser Castle Battle build by LEGO Super Mario, set number 71423. Contains 1,300 something bricks, I forgot. Retails for $109.99, and this set was provided by the LEGO Group for early review. And what you see here is bags one through five. So we built some figures and two portions of a castle. And today, I think we're going to be focusing on bags six through nine. And that's where we're going. I already got everything keyed up. And so far, my build experience has been slow with this. And the builds seem okay. This thing here, remember the last time we couldn't get it to work? I don't know. It just, it's just kind of silly. And that's pretty much what it is. So, it's, oops, I got the wrong building guide, and it won't let you exit out of it. Isn't that cute? And, yeah, I've already read some comments about, you know, we're starting with bag seven. I haven't done six yet. And it shows that it's done. Isn't that cool? I didn't even start, and it shows that. And I read a comment, though, about, now we're going to start with six, about a lot of more people are getting dissatisfied with these sets. There's no building guide. A, a lot of us want to get away from the computer. I mean, we're all going to have to face it. This is just the way things are. I think, to me, for, for, for Mario being one of the most fun, colorful themes, Lego had to screw it up and make it a money grab. And that's just, you know, how I feel. These, these sets are incomplete, they're useless, and they're overpriced, you know. I mean, and now I'm in a good mood. It's just... I just got done editing a tutorial, which wasn't too bad. I got it done. <laughs> and now i got to start working on the building guide for it and stuff like that so that'll be after i get done with this I, in order to do and editing building guides well these are just rough drafts they're not too fun but it's fun when i get to build it later on and i have to go and watch a, a lengthy video <laughs> so that's the good thing about those and yeah we're gonna try to get a bunch of stuff done today at least do bag six through nine i'm not going to race through these i'm not going to try to get them done really quick and these are not the most appealing sets to me i just get them because you guys and gals like looking at the parts so that's why i do the reviews on them so make sure i have jay the friends doll here we can have him sit right here I had a question yes on one of my other channels. Why does he have a bowl cut? Because that was the style, that was the go-to style back in the 90s for us guys. And the girls really loved it too. It even paired better, better with uh, if he had blonde hair. And the front was a little longer than the sides. <laughs> and the girls like that stuff. And today, they still do. Yeah, this set's got a lot of parts that like to roll around, so just be prepared. And, and I mentioned this in one of the builds, and I'm going to keep doing it. Because LEGO, you know, they watch these now since I'm considered recognized. And these guides, I think they could have just done a better job at doing. I'm using their app, right? And Lego, like I said, Lego is not a software developer. And when I'm spending a lot of time thumbing through the manual, trying to, you know, put things together, it's like one or two pieces. And then I have to go through animations. It just drags out the build. They're trying to make this feel like a video game. I did read one of your comments saying, well, this is not a video game. This is meant to be hands-on. I agree. You know, I, I mean, I want to play Minecraft, but I'm right now doing um, a bit of work today. And today, I think, is the 24th of July, 2023. And... I did my morning meetings and stuff like that, and it's the afternoon, it's hot, and 
I want to cool down. Wait. Oh, I'm really messing up here. <laughs> this is supposed to go right there. I wasn't even paying attention. But yeah, I'm just... Uh, at this point, guys and gals, I'm just trying to get these done here. This is a punching bag. And Jay, why do you do them? Just, I just get these for the just for the unboxings for you guys and gals to see. Yeah, this is like a punching bag. But great if you're building a boxing ring, huh? Yippee! More videos. Well, this is a different arm that's coming in here. This guy's actually got dings and bangs up and dents on his arm like I do. Must be a worker. Where's Jay the... So basically, what you do... He just sits here. He punches this. And then he goes... Boing, 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 boing. Ding, 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 ding. That's all it does. Now, somebody had said, well, Jay, why do you fail these if you're having fun building them? Because it's incomplete. I don't have the figure, and you think Lego would at least have asked if I actually had one. I'm not going to run it, because I'm a mock builder. I don't build with the Super Mario theme. These have good terrain pieces and other parts, but I'm not going to throw away, and yes, I said the throw away word, throw away $40 on a starter course with just a figure and just a handful of parts. I'll throw away money on a on a plushie, but I will not throw away money on, on a figure that will I will probably use it just for the reviews after that would we'll just sit in a drawer. I mean I'm sure there's somebody out there who's really hardcore into this. That you know gets their money's worth out of it, but for me, I just uh, want to oh yeah, and if I sound kind of whiny and achy or whatever or stuffed up because I am. And I swear it's just. I'm being cooped up in the house. It's too hot to go out and do anything. And, you know, any place that's remotely cool, it's booked up. Put that up like that, I guess. And then these, this plate goes on here. I think the symbols just tell you kind of what you're doing here, but I don't know. I wonder if Mindstorms would be able to read this. I know the sensor does a couple of colors. If you get the education of uh, Mindstorms, or sensor I think picks up eight or so colors, or 16, I can't remember. And I bet you probably could. Yeah, but I do really do miss the um, building of tutorials, and you know this. Have I been? There's I've been parting out some of these sets now. I'm still parting out the campground, but I have been finding some really good parts out of some of these sets, and I'm like, oh, I could actually finish up. Like I have parts to finish up some homes now, and it's just getting the time to to do it all right so now we got to build the barbell looks like it'll fall apart real easily Yeah, this is a uh, this is very flimsy. Let's 
So if this thing won't break your back, the post certainly will. <laughs> but yeah, today I released the uh, Rambi the Rhino. And I've been reading some comments on there, but one of them, like I said, did stick out about it, about, you know, about the thing. I can't remember your name, my apologies, but, you know, a lot of people are dissatisfied with this theme. It's like Sonic, and I've mentioned this several times. I like the Sonic sets. I don't own one, but they look cool. I'm not going to run out and buy a Sonic set. I just want the figures out of it, hard to believe for me. But for... Something like this. The Sonic sets, I don't know, I think the, the prices are about right on those. These are just inflated. And, you know, here's some guys who stand up by these. Well, you're paying for the, you're paying for the, uh, the electronic figure. True, but... I can care less about that guy. I mean, who wants the electronic figure? I have a friend of mine who has a couple of them. He goes, I'd loan you one if you were closer. I'm like, that'd be kind of cool. But I said, it's fun just to sit here and literally complain. And just make this make the builds a little more exciting than they are. Because honestly, though, if I script them, it would not be uh, too exciting of a content here. Okay, now you're going to have to put this flimsy thing, and I mean, this is flimsy. See how flimsy that is? My goodness. To line those up and you have to press those down oh it went in there wow I was expecting to start cussing at this thing and that's it and so well, that's all it does Okay, well, we don't want to look at that. Oh, it's the old, it's the other arm that's back. Okay, so basically what he does, he goes boing, 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 boing. And then you just do this. I thought it was automated. But it's like, he just does this. Sticks his arms out. If it even has arms, I don't know. And he just does this. Ding, 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 ding. And yeah, that's... uh. That wasn't that that thing there. That wasn't too fun. And that's what we have remaining for bag six. All right, let's slide that off to the side. Oh, we need to stay over here, Jay. You need to stay here and work out a little bit. And then we are going to do the purple toad thing. This is bag seven. And And get all these extra containers off the sofa here and all ready to go. And okay, let's get started on this turd and get it done. <laughs> all right, there we go. At least we got something going there. And then, like I, like I've mentioned though, and if you've mentioned, you, you're practically staring at a screen half the time. Yeah, well, like I said, I'm going to be belly aching through these, and I've already, I haven't had anybody yet say anything. I've had them in the past, but not yet on this series installments that I have been complaining too much. You know, at least I'm being honest with you, though. I don't want to just tell you a fib and go, oh, this is a really good set. I really enjoyed it. I mean, this still could be enjoyable, like that one that I did with the stage the the jungle jam or whatever it was that wasn't too bad yeah that would be my facial expression if 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 mario showed up to one of these but honestly though guys and gals if i were to really sit here and and just make these all positive they'd be boring they'd be scripted 
Okay. I am looking for Well, that's why a lot of us get into Lego. Cuz we don't want to have to um We don't want to have to deal with the um you know, I work on a computer all day. I don't want to do it when I get done with this. I think that's how it's supposed to be on the side there. And then you set this in here. Matter of fact, he's the only one. That, you know, Toad is part of the, the of the Mario family, and he's the only one that does not have a smart figure. So if you don't have one, you can even use him too. It's kind of sad, but that's how it is. All right, and that's it for that one. We got that out of the way. And something else. Right now, it seems like we're building nothing but accessories. I haven't even got to work on this castle yet. So it's like we're doing all the boring stuff unless we're setting up all the parts for the... bigger stuff here. I don't know how critical this is, but I'm going to run it parallel with that. That's why you notice I stop. Because we put one or two pieces on at a time. And when I do the reviews, when I submit them to Lego, I'm like, this set was boring. My, I'm like, my retention... I'm not hooked to this build. It, it's not like I want to build it. I saw it across the room today, and I thought, oh, I have to do that still. <laughs> uh, it, it was like, oh, this is going to be a chore today. And that's what that looks like so far. And you shouldn't have to feel like that about a Lego set, but you have to sometimes. It's like it has to be done... I don't know how critical this is, which way the tile faces, but... What happened, Lego? We don't have any half-round radiator grills. What if I want a rounded radiator in my car, huh? These are, these are regular dark stone gray. I thought I was going to get metallic silver in here. Wow, for the price of this. Although the price part, part per brick is not too bad. All right, so we got to build four of these little boogers here. More flimsy parts. Sticking these in here are not the strongest thing in the world. And I got to make four of these today. Picking these up with very little fingernails that I have. Now I see why some of these guys have those grotesquely long ones. In fact, I may have to get some hemostats in here. I've been trimming up my nails and it's just hard to pick things up off the workbench. I've been really been hitting hard on sorting parts. I just took all the trees out of the campground and I'm starting on some of these other sets that have the, the leaf pieces in them. I'm trying to get all the leaf pieces out, out of the way. And, uh, you know... I never thought I would have to say it, but I'm actually running out of space to store leaf parts. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, yeah, that's, that's a Technic pin. We don't need that. I, I thought I would never say it, but I am actually running, sh running out of space for foliage. My goal eventually is to build at least 25 to 30 trees. I can build 17 now. If I just use all random colors, I probably would have just enough, but I think the next thing I'm going to do is order some more of those earth green pieces. All right, and these go into, I don't know if it's critical. I'm going to note the orientation here. Skip this guy here. Oh, there's five of them that I had to build? Oh, I didn't even pay attention to that. 
Let's do that real quick. It's not that hard. I thought it was just four. Tells you I'm really excited to build this, huh? But I've been trying to get a bunch of stuff just sorted. And just getting it done. Because I hate worse. Like, I've seen this part before. I don't know where it's at. It says that I have six in my inventory. I only need one, and you can't find one. Sometimes I'll forget to part out a mock or a tutorial, and there it is. Uh, show me those stars. Because when I get done with this, well, that's something I'm going to have to fish off the floor. I'm going to get back to editing reviews and then submit a bunch of paperwork to Lego today and that's it. How do you put these in? They show this thing going straight down. I'm not that gutsy. I'm just going to work one of these in at a time here. This is kind of one of those things that looks like it will break. All right. There we go. Looks like a little lantern you'd carry around, huh? And that's it. So... Is there a video? Anytime you see this, there's always a video that accompanies it. So, you have Toad here. So basically, Toad just stands here. And then he goes boing, 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 boing. Ding, 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 So far, like I said, I'm bored. Is it a collaborative build? Uh, I'm going to say so far it probably is. I'd have to go back and review my notes. So, at best right now, this thing can get a score of one. Wait, we're on, we're, we're on bag seven. Wow, we're, you just interrupted me for that. It's some telephone pole basis. Put this over here. It's like all we're doing is accessories now. I'm losing interest in this today. Yeah, you gotta put an inverted tile there. And I purposely don't make these sound boring. It's just... You know those city sets I put together? It was like, yeah, the city sets or the Monkey Kid sets. Monkey Kid I just didn't care about, but those were fun to put together. This set here, I mean, honestly, I'm bored with it. It started off fun, and then now I'm just kind of putting together accessories. I hadn't even got to work on the castle. The castle's still in two parts. So what are we missing here? Right now, we've done, bag six and seven have done nothing but accessories. We're not done with seven yet. I doubt this is going to go inside the castle. And I'm spending more time pressing the uh, next button on the app than anything. All right. Why don't you just tell me to set two of these side by side so to make me keep pressing the next button. Honestly, right now, if it were up to me, <laughs> I would literally call this, I would give this, I would drop the F-bomb on this app real quick. I mean, I don't know who wrote this. I don't know what company designed it. Shame on you for not letting us turn off all these animation things. Right, I can 
turn off the sound after the instructions start up? What if I'm, what if I don't want to hear it, but I want to hear something else playing out of my tablet? But now I got to hear the, the music out of it or something. So if I was listening to my hip hop, yeah, that's not going to do me any good. Also, these things would work good too if you're building yourself a. Oh, what are those? Those tram things. I can't. A ski lift. Okay. Yeah, this reminds me of an old classic Minecraft set where it was just nothing but accessories and you put the whole flimsy build together. But the building guides weren't as slow as this. This is just... This is just taking too long. Imagine these being a... I was say, imagine if they're over a thousand pieces, but this one's over thirteen hundred. That's why I notice us. I'm pausing in between here because it's doing like here. Let's put one more part in there. Okay, let's click the button again. Oh, we got two parts now. Cool. We must be getting really advanced here. This one's got a little cog. Probably meant to turn something here. These are meant for Mario to snap onto, but. Well, obviously the arrow shows it going through, but it doesn't go through all the way. Don't push this one through, I have a feeling. Oh, it does want you to push it all the way through. Really, Lego? I was expecting something else, but... You want the flange on the outsides. So... You ever built a Technic set? Sometimes they have you do so many pieces at once you get so confused, but these little sets like this, you can't even do that. Okay, so this goes in here. Okay. Now it wants you to set this on top. And you gotta push these down in here. Usually the first one's pretty easy. The second one you have to wiggle in. Not sure what that does. What does that even do, Lego? It's kinda kinda goofy. Okay, more animations. Kind of tired today. It's just, it's been hot and miserable. Sleep schedule's getting messed up again. And that's pretty much what it is. Hoping you can see what I'm doing here. So we can both be bored together. Yeah, Jay, you sound like you just don't like these. Uh, I just don't like the way that Lego executed them. Okay, well, I can't see that if it's... Uh... Okay. 
Well, that doesn't make any sense here. Oh. Okay, this goes in here. Just don't breathe on that wrong. All right, this goes in here now. Maybe it's a crane or something. I don't know what this is. Matter of fact, I don't know what half this stuff does anyways. Okay, so this goes right here. It looks like it's some kind of a of a crane. In fact, it'd be great for a job site. So I think Mario's supposed to sit on there, but what does that do? To do that? Okay, I think that's meant to sit like that. Yeah, that's where it sits at in the manual here. Okay, we got another animation we got to deal with here. Okay, so. When I do the whole tour of this, I'm not going to rewatch all these videos. I'm just going to kind of preset everything up. So he stands on here. And surprisingly, that thing's pretty strong to hold him up. Okay. And then you put this cage thing here. How does it even connect to it? It went through it so fast. You think a one hook would suffice. You do that. You set toad in here. Wow. Okay, what a POS. I guess one will have to do. I can't get it to hang on to them without it falling apart. That's how it is. You really can't see what's going on there. So basically what Mario does, here he goes, boing, 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 drops this thing here, falls down, Toad walks away, and boing, 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 knock him off. And go ding 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 ding. That's all it is. Well, that's cool and dandy, but that doesn't do me any good. We have one extra horn here. Must have fell on the floor. But let's make sure here real quick. We're not done yet, folks. Huh? Ah. That's what we have remaining for bag seven. All right. Now we're going to move on to bag eight. And so far, we've done bags in this installment. Six and seven have done nothing but accessories. We haven't even got to finish up the castle yet. So I don't know if these are going to be pieces that are going to go added on to the castle or what. Maybe we'll get lucky here. Or is this another accessory? We don't know. All right. Let's get going here. And we need more out of the bolt bin. Matter of fact... We just need both of those. I I'll just leave them in the bin here. All right. Yep, so I just got done with a tutorial. It's just been sent up to YouTube, and we're ready to go with it. I just need to go in now and put everything into the computer in terms of a rough building guide. That means when I when I put them up on YouTube, I do one watch on YouTube before I publish it, okay? What I usually do is I'll watch it, and I build along with you, okay? So every tutorial you've seen on my main channel, I've actually had built along with the video. If something doesn't make sense, or I just completely just wasn't paying attention and forget a step, I'll know it, and I'll catch it beforehand. It's not like a review where I try to do these impromptu style. The tutorials are usually, I pre-run through everything. And I run through everything for you just so you can, you know, get a better build experience. Where something like this, I build it just to hurry up and get it done. Some sets, like I said, I don't, I didn't feel like that, but... This one here is one of those that I just kind of want to get out of here. Just because it's got some good parts. This set here, when I was going through the parts, like these, it comes with these dark, like charcoal gray, metallic 
pipe pieces or macaroni. There's a bunch of them in here. And it comes with the smaller the lift arms too that work with them. And this set does have some pieces in here. Okay, it's a one by four. It was hiding part of it. And I really want to focus on, I bet we're making another one, huh? That's exactly what we're doing. I really would like to drop the F-bomb right now. And yes, I do. I cuss a lot, guys and gals. I cuss like a sailor. <laughs> I mean, it, it's, I say the F-word a lot in, in, in real life. I don't, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you I don't. But I'm more informal than informal. Why don't I cuss on YouTube that much? There's no point, you know. And some people just don't like hearing the F word. After, I mean, hearing it, you know, occasionally is fine. But I've watched some videos where there's just people just constantly cussing. And it's like, are you doing that just to fill in conversation? Or you just normally do that? But see, I'm mostly focused on the build right now, not for commentary. And you get four of these black 6x6 tiles. I don't know what I'd use them for, but there you go. Sometimes these can be a bit of a turd to put on, so... Yeah, this thing is pretty flimsy so far. Maybe this is the entry point into the castle. I have a, a little side job that I want to work on. Somebody hired me out for it. And I thought, yeah, I can do that. It's a small job. They want a, couple, they want a small little website. We're talking very basic for streaming their, um, their nature cameras. And, and it's, just a, it's, a, it's just a small little organization. They're not millionaires or anything like that. And they asked me what, what would be my price quote. And I saw them and I said, well... I said, these are nice. These are kind of like always a treat to do. So I gave them a decent quote, and they accepted. And I just got to uh, start setting it up. I mean, this is one of those projects that could be done in a day. They've given me two weeks for it, and I just kind of thought, two weeks to set this up? <laughs> I, 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 told the, I told the representative, I was like, I said, I can literally sit down and get that done for you in a day. But if you give me two weeks, I said, I can make it to where you can upgrade it real easy and stuff like that. He says, yeah, sure. I said, yeah. I said, that'll be in with the price. I said, why not? I said, it's always cool to have these nature cams because you never know when that stuff's going to end. I said, that's pretty cool. We're bringing nature home and already streaming video on YouTube, so he doesn't need a whole entire live streaming service or whatever. He wants it integrated and stuff. It wasn't like anything hard. Very basic JavaScript, uh, very basic server side. It's very basic. You, you know, he's already got someone that's that can run it for him and stuff, so I mean, yeah, it's fine. I can do that. And... Those are always fun. Like sometimes I'll get a side job, like to do a hotel or a campground, you know, like those, like a winter lodge or something like that. I remember, you know, over here in my part of the woods here, I mean, we were just getting hammered with snow and stuff like that. Not in my area, but in parts of California. And I remember a lot of these lodges were looking for people who would just make more fancy, intricate websites and stuff.
as they were open up more, they were open up longer, and you know, you get to that point, yeah, sure. And that's what it is. And somebody asked me, am I a web developer? No, I don't develop websites, but I know how to do it. It was part of the education that I went through. I mean, do I like doing web design? I mean, it's a fun. It was. It's a fun little hobby that pays. <laughs> it depends. It's, if you come in, I've done some for doctors' offices and attorneys and stuff, and those are the most boring things that you could ever do. Usually, doing. I've done. I've done for. I've done two theme parks, several hotels, campgrounds, and all. Those are the. The ones for the hotels are okay. The campgrounds and theme parks are always fun to do. Because usually the owners are like, we want to get people involved or we want people to get engaged with the website. Make it as bright and colorful as possible. You go to the Legos webpage and it's just, uh, you know, if you've ever been on there to go buy stuff. I mean, it's just a store, but it's kind of, I don't know, I wish I could just, I'm ready to send Lego my card and say, hey, I'll develop this for you. I mean, this is, this needs to be cleaned up a bit. <laughs> This might be a part of the castle. Hard to say what it does. I've got a lot of stuff rolling around here right now. But yeah, those are my favorite type of projects to do. You know, like I said, databases are just, it's just a gig, right? I, I'll do them. Some people pay pretty good money for a good database job, especially the secured ones. And then, I'll do them. How it goes down here? Okay. Okay, I see where that goes. It's kind of offset. It's just right underneath this thing right here like that. And then... It says rotate it. Wow, you made me waste a whole entire time to do that. Just wanted me to rotate it. Now we're building two of a duplicate here. But yeah, I like doing those. It's like this app that we're using for this. I'm like, I could write this up so much better. Yes, leave the animations, but why can't I just turn those off? You know, Why can't I just toggle that off and just jump to the next step instead of showing me animations on how things are supposed to be put together? You know. I don't know. Some developers, they don't want you to have any control over the program. They want to have full control over it. When I was doing computer programming, taking some college courses, I remember I had a professor that said, you need to keep this open-ended here. I said, if a client has to come back to you to constantly make changes, you're wasting his time, you're wasting, he's wasting your time. Keep it open, show him how to use the parameters, show him how to use the config files. If he wants new features, then he'll pay for them, you know, but... Yep, one piece on at a time. Oh. This one's got two, and I can never pick these up. Especially you have no fingernails left. Alright. Yeah, this must be the entry point of the uh, castle here. Okay, now we're building some more of the chains, and that's not a bad idea for making chains. I was building, I was looking at the box the other day on just the chain method, and I thought, kind of reminds me of, you could use these for like, I mean, real life chains. I mean, that's, I'll show you when we get to it here. Um, Yep, you're putting on one piece at a time. I'll just, I may just start tapping twice. I mean, I'll show you here. I mean, that's pretty darn close to a regular length of chain right there. I 
and then this one here uh, hold on okay it goes like this and it goes on the bottom one now we got to make a whole ch chain length now it's asked me to make two of them so you got to make two and sometimes my building guides I go a little slow but I do it for a purpose if it's something that's going to be confusing yes for some of this stuff it's like you're showing me two why don't you just say 2x when I'm done I don't get it but What well, shows that this goes in here? Oh, I'm putting it in the wrong way. But you could practically make a whole chain length out of these, huh? You have a bunch of these. I have a. I've been collecting macaroni pieces, so you could make a. If you get them in different colors, you're gonna have a nice, colorful chain. Matter of fact, if you have the bucks, just use those on your Christmas tree, huh? And have a nice, colorful chain. There's so much you can do with Lego if you just have the money to do it. <laughs> I always look at stuff thinking, oh man, if I just had, if I was just a millionaire, I had somebody ask me, Jay, if you were a millionaire, what kind of, t what kind of Lego stuff would you build? Like, what would you deliver? Uh, like, you know, like, how would you do tutorials? I said, if I had an unlimited supply of earnings and stuff, I said, I said, I would literally just be doing tutorials daily. I said, I'd have so much free time. I said, the money would not be a thing. It goes like this. So there's your chain link there. So just imagine if you make a bunch of these, make these secured somehow. Well, that just doesn't stay together very well. All right. I thought we're going to be doing two of these, but we're just, I'm not sure. If I'm not sure, I will not do it. One piece at a time. Very boring. It's like one piece, hit next. Another piece, hit next. You've ever seen those websites where they do that? Yeah, that's how annoying it is. All right. So this part of the building guide right here I think would be valuable for making chains for you know real life chains and we've already made a full link here I don't like the way they did that but it is what it is These applications are supposed to make things greener. Yeah. So what you do here is you come in here, you link this in right here, and you take this one and you just splice it together. And that's how you'd make your chains. And these are not the most strongest chains, but I'm sure you could do something better than this. Like just come in here and split these in half and done it the other way too. Why didn't they do that? I don't know. And just stick a cross axle in here so you're using the sticks it kind of went a little elaborate there i don't know why but that's how you do your chains now imagine if you have a bunch of these you could do all sorts of stuff so now we set this here like that and then now we're back onto this side here so be careful, this is not even sitting in there very sturdy, because we're going to be working on this side here next. Jay, this doesn't seem very fun. That chain was fun. That was an interesting part there. So you can come in here, and like I said, if you've got, an, if you've got, an, if you've got deep pockets, you could just make a maybe a 25-foot chain or something, just wrap it around on your Christmas tree and make it really colorful. You can get those macaroni pieces in different colors. You could literally have some fun with it. And 
Oh, wait a minute. We're still on this side. It fold me. Okay. So it goes like this. And I bet it swings down there. That's exactly what it does. So that's not... Okay, now it's telling me here on the top here. And this goes like that. It just hooks over this thing here. That's a nice little chain. That's just kind of a... It's like that's a real chain. I think we're working on this side now here. So, yeah, there's a good building strategy out of how to make a chain. Matter of fact, <laughs> I'd make a good little tutorial, but I would actually have to have... Uh, if I wanted to make, make a foot of chain or something. But then it's just be a building exercise. But Lego already came up with that, and I can't just do that. I'm not going to snag their idea. Yeah, so... When you get to the chains, they're just mirrors. So just remember that. It shows it right here like this. We're back on this side here, and it's facing away from us. So I'm going to leave it like this here, just so I can keep tabs of it better. So bag eight is pretty much, you're building your chain one length at a time. Oh, if you've ever watched Scrooge or something, what was his name? Jacob? It was it Jacob Marley? He had to forge that chain link by link, link by link, yard by yard. This is probably what he did. He probably came in here and did this all by hand. Imagine his hands being all tired after linking up that chain, huh? For being a, a not so nice of a guy. Of course, if you're doing good deeds, I'm sure that chain will get, you'll break those links on those chains, huh? Okay. So I'm gonna be working backwards like this. And sometimes I've done that too in some of my builds where I had to, um, where half the steps are folding things. It was the um, it was the uh, rope bridge. Um, when I was doing the rope bridge, in the building guide, the printed guide, half of what was just you have to do this. And if you watch the tutorial, you saw me moving things around. Well, that's how it was in the building guide. You had to move a bunch of stuff around. Just keep rolling away. We're almost done here. <laughs> Forging the chain link by link, yard by yard. Yep. That's how he, that's how he did it back then. Okay, we got a link done. And then now... You know what, if you could put a little bottom on that and make a good little raft, huh? There was a way to attach a bottom to that. You could put a raft, make that a little raft. All right. So bag eight is, uh, I think this is going to be the main gate to the castle. All right, I'm just like, oh, I hope we're not doing nothing but accessories. Yeah, when I was loading up bag eight into this, uh, or I should say group eight, 
I mean, it took about five minutes for the instructions to load, and I have a, I have 10 gigabit internet out here, <laughs> you know. Set that in like that. And just do what the instructions tell you, right? Don't, you know, don't, this is something here you do not want to rush through is the chain because I have a feeling some people are going to get confused on this. I know I'm kind of like, yeah. I'd love to one day is do a full pledge Christmas tree out of Lego. I mean, hardcore it. And I would actually have to build a frame to support the tree. But that's how you do it there. All right. done with it yet. This bag is taking forever, isn't it? <laughs> it's, uh, this one's not a, this is not a fast one here. But this is, I like doing the hard stuff. It's the only thing that's just making this boring is just, uh, doing one part at a time and clicking next. Going to see how it's falling apart there. And they did it like this. And they swinged it down like that. Like half these steps right now that we're doing is you're just swinging things around. There you go. And those look pretty real. They look like real chains, you know. I mean, chain, put like a padlock around a fence or something. It'd fool a lot of people. Okay. All right, let me put this here. Does that go all the way in? Or yeah, it does. Okay. Probably another one that's mirrored. I'll guarantee it goes here. Watch it doesn't. It does. <laughs> and, okay. That's it for bag eight. All right, so we're going to finish up bag nine and then we're going to stop here for this installment. Because so i got to get some other work stuff done. Let me get this out of the way first. And I think we're working on the part that goes in here. It showed it for like a split second. It's like, okay, enough of that. Now i got to get to the building parts. So I wish I could click. If I were to click next, I wish I could just show it. And it just doesn't do the fancy transitions. And here we go. we got to make a set of hinges now. bunch of three by threes it's a two by two black there's not a lot of black pieces so there should, should be easy to find up here well what do we do when we can't find it start pulling out that color now I'm very limited on space up here so yeah it's uh, well, there it is so it, so far we haven't built anything we've just done accessories today Nothing's even linked together. Out of from bags one through five, six, seven, eight are not even connecting anything. 
So I don't know. I mean, I don't have a clue. Well, I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing, to be honest. Today is kind of quiet. Everybody's napping right now, and wasn't like that when I did my meetings. But now it's kind of, it's kind of like okay, I get to chill out now. And Sometimes that's the beauty of working from home. I was reading the thing how more and more companies are making their employees go back to the office. And now I kind of see why. If, you, if you're in a very distract, if, you, if you're not really well disciplined to work from home, that's understandable. because you gotta focus. There's a lot of distractions. It's not like I'm at work, I have to do this. When I'm home, I have to do this, but I also got my Lego and video games and all this other stuff here that are kind of distracting. You know what I'm gonna do? Just kind of mush these up against this hinge thing here to kind of line those up. There we go. All right, so here they actually have you put three pieces on at one time. Lego, what are you doing now? You're using all the, you're putting all the boring colors that I have to spend time to actually find. Like I got to find an arch. Oh, there it is. I was gonna start sorting by color again. Yeah, you can tell my least favorite colors is gray and blacks. Even white has kind of gotten to, uh, kind of like, nah, you know, it's. It is what it is. Heck, I may even take a nap after I get done with this. I gotta submit some paperwork in for work real quick, and then uh, that's it. And then I can lay down and snooze for a bit. If I'm too late and have to stay up later, then I will have to do so and go to bed early tonight. But that's how it is. Just got to get the important stuff done first. And then we got to build some more hinges. I'm assuming we're going to be locking the top of that up. I found those. I always remember some of the uh, other road trips that I would go on with family for the holidays. You know how kids today, they got to have like an iPad or a DVD player or something like that to keep them company. I remember it was kind of just a treat looking out the window. Just seeing what kind of things you could see outside. Like farmland. Um, other vehicles on the road. You know, where, where are they going and stuff like that. And... If we wanted to go to the beach or the mountains, we had to travel through the deserts, which is where I'm at now, who had ever figured. And I thought, man, who would want to live in a desolate place like this? <laughs> and I always like wondered, like, what do they do out here for fun? There's no trees, nothing's green, and you, you drive right past these guys, and it's like... They got the big they got the big swimming pools in their backyards and stuff, so I guess that's probably why, you know. You go on the freeway, you'd you'd, you'd be up on like an overpass or something and you'd see like you'd look down and some people have their backyards almost backed up against the freeway. And you'd see like they'd have like a full blown big giant Olympic sized pool in their backyard. <laughs> and these little houses.
there's I heard somebody yelling but I remember those days and uh, those were fun you know we go on a camping trip my, my at that time when I was little my parents just had a they had a Coleman tent trailer and we would go camp and let's say at the mountains it was always exciting when you got to see because where we were at you didn't you saw foothills but when you go over this ridge you'd start seeing the mountains and like yes the fun is about to begin you know and that's what that was the fun part like oh this is you can already smell the pine trees you already got to smell the freedom you get to stay up late and roast marshmallows and stuff like that and i remember those days i always wanted to share those with my with my kids, you know, and just kind of do the family stuff, you know, and tell them you don't need to have the, the iPad or whatever on to, to enjoy a car trip. You know, try it when you're driving. You, you, it's boring. The only thing you have to keep you company is your partner next to you and then the radio that's playing, which half the time I would just leave off because I'd rather chit-chat than to listen to some music looking for two more oh there they are why don't you just had me stackles on top of one another first so they're just doing them like that like, you know? and then when we pull up to the campground you had to go to the registration booth and my dad had to check in and all that stuff but when they gave us the little thing you'd hang on the, the rear view mirror for the, the camp like the the campsite number it's like it is finally happening you know and the best part about it was is they would pull my sister and I out of school early for vacations yeah. uh, can't do that today but yeah, it's not too bad and I do miss those days I really do it's uh, doing it by yourself is uh, it's not the same you get up and you pull into camp and that's essentially what it is <laughs> although you get to make what you want you know nobody telling you when to go to bed you know you're in the mood to go for an early morning walk or you know go fishing or whatever you don't have to wait for somebody else i don't fish but i remember my dad would do that he'd get up camp and him and the guys would we were going with a bunch of friends he, they would get up at 5 30 in the morning and go fishing can you rotate parts in that or no no i wonder what this does here oh it makes the parts smaller and this makes it bigger oh well why don't you just tap that then But I do remember the, a lot of the family vacations and stuff, and those were fun, you know. I mean, I was reading the one time, I was reading on Reddit, how many people went on vacations with their parents. I used to for the longest times, even as an adult. And especially when you're single, it's even, it, you, you didn't have a companion or whatever. So it's like, yeah, I'll tag along. And you go out and you and all that stuff. I'm just making sure that's lined up. That's not a bad idea for windows. All right, we got to flip that upside down. That's not really stable, so be very careful. But I do remember a lot of the stuff. And sometimes I'll kind of want to to do things like that and I said if you if you're in a household that doesn't like doing that stuff you're going to have to go at it alone oh now you're telling me to flip it back over this thing's already off balance and all that stuff open it up all the way and then you got to stick them inside of here on these lips it's getting kind of really unstable huh but I do remember that, and it was kind of cool. 
As my sister and I, we would go out and find things to do in the forest, you know. There's plenty of things to do out there. To get lost and stuff, too. And, and now it's, uh, those days have long since passed. And now it's like you get up and you work. And it goes over here. Yeah. Here's one of these little Mario tiles right here. I think that might be level one. You know what? This would be perfect for a television screen. If this was in if this was in a two by three flat tile, that would have been perfect. And this one goes here. I just wish this was a mini. I wish this just came with regular mini figures. You know, I'm tired of failing these. <laughs> but that's what I remembered back on road trips or going to the beach. And it took forever, but once you saw it, once you got over the. Um, pass through the San Andreas stuff and you finally went over when you start when you saw the ocean for the the first glimpse of the ocean you knew you were there you know and that's what I remember I remember that we would stop at rest stops which rest stops were always boring I don't know what it was every rest stop we stopped at it was just so hot it's like man and if you've ever been to a rest stop in California, they're not the most exciting thing. They're pretty run down, and the graffiti guys do their fancy artwork on them and stuff. But it's kind of, it's just kind of, they're boring, you know. It's, I remember when my parents went back east, they told me about all the, the rest stops there. They were a rest stop. They had restaurants there. They had... Um, I don't know what you'd call them, a travel, uh, they'd have, like, they would have like an administrator there, and you can ask for information, if you needed a map or something, you could purchase a map, or, and their bathrooms are really high in, they're clean, and then you come out here to one of the biggest economies, and our rest stops are just kind of, you just want to get in, get your job done, and get the heck out of there. You know, they weren't even a place to rest at. We do get some printed tiles of the princess right here. Looking for one that's not printed. And, you know, rest stops are kind of like halfway points. It's like, yuck, I gotta wait. And I don't see a tile that goes in there. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. And of course, I can't get those off. You know why? Because that's the wrong color, those weren't ready yet. Needed a gray, not white. And that's what I just remembered on just road trips alone. When I'm uh, doing a long haul myself, I don't stop at rest stops. I just go to a gas station and I'm done. You know. I'm missing another jumper plate here. At least it's a common part. Well, do I have to go get up and fish one? Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't want to get up. <laughs> but I've already done enough of that today. But that's what I remember, though. Those were always fun to do. But getting to the beach and seeing the water there, that was the fun part. And now it's... Uh, well, it's even like that today, even at my age. I'm like, yes, I've gotten over this mountain range and I see the ocean. I am there. I just got another 20 minutes left and then I'm done. And let the fun begin. Oh, the princess tile goes in there. Uh, 
Um, Janet, you asked me a question about why don't my girlfriend and I have kids? That's a long story. Okay. All right, so put that in there. I think this is just a micro scaled build. But yeah, that's what I remembered of that kind of things. Wow, I guess we're really planning for the attack. Got a blueprint right here. It's just sitting right on there. Like that. With the micro scale build, man. I guess old Bowser, he was ready to go. He was just planning this out all along. With blueprints and all. And all this stuff is printed too. So just imagine having that map and then having this piece to go along with it. If you just had this, minifigures would be cool. And a buddy of mine has some knockoff Super Mario minifigures. And I, he goes, is, there, is that really a bad thing to use those? I'm like, not really. Lego hasn't made them. I mean, who's really going to care? And... You know, it's kind of the sad thing about it is, is that a lot of us were killing for the uh, the minifigures for this. But anyways, though, about the trips, those were always fun to do, the road trips. Oh, this box here is printed like a treasure chest. Just get a dome piece to put on, or those, one of the ones with the two studs on top. Or those half round ones, it'd be better. Make a great little treasure chest. And this is printed too. And I like to see this printed stuff. I bet this goes on the top. So this thing goes inside. So but they're into diamonds now. Am I going to pull that out? I'll probably will forget by the time I get to it. All right. Okay, and then this big thing goes on here. Well, we'd be, we'll definitely be doing some boing, 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 ding, ding, dings in this, huh? Not sure why that's... Uh, like, at least I, I'm hoping that's an extra printed tile because I can always use those. Yeah, but vacations, driving to your destination spot was always boring at first. Okay, we're putting these on now. Why don't we put these on when we're doing the little model? Or were they afraid they were going to fall off or something? But I just missed those days, you know. Those were the days. And it was just like a Minecraft quote there. But yeah. Even, even my girl doesn't even like camping. They all want to just sit at home now. It must be the little airship. In fact, it looks like a little boat as it is right now. We're using roller skates for something here. I'm putting the front of the roller skate. The instructions show that this little bump thing right here goes in the front, so I'm assuming that that's kind of normal there. My owie on my thumb is starting to heal up slowly, or it was, until the Lego started getting a hold of it. But, yeah, I do remember the old, the old things that we used to do, and I've talked some more about some of the things I saw on vacation. It seems like some people like those, or... And, you know, that kind of thing. But it's kind of sad that it's long gone now. 
I mean, there's families out there enjoying it now, but... One time I told my nephew, I said, you better enjoy this stuff, dude. It's going to be gone one day. Oh, the forest will always be there. Well, not where I'm at, it's not anymore. It's long gone. This is one of those flying ships right here. And then it sits right here. Just going to wiggle it in. There we go. <laughs> All right. We're not done yet. We still got plenty of parts here, too. We got plenty of parts. So this goes right here. And that's a real magnifying glass, too. Let's see if it'll work here on that. I'll show you. It kind of enlarges the print a little bit. And it's just like with Lego stuff, though. I mean, okay, this goes in here. Wow, this has got a lot of detail in here. Sure can't get that in, though, huh? Well, that crap just fell off. Get that. There's always something that has to fall off right when you're building it. And I think this closes up around it there, which is kind of cool. I thought this would slide out or something, but it doesn't. No, it shows you to close it. We already did that. And then it sits in this big platform. I mean, it literally just sits in there. It drops in. You don't have to do anything. Just flop it down. I don't know about that. Maybe that's to annoy the parents, huh? Just keep doing that until uh, somebody gets mad at you. And I think there's two of these, so I'm wondering if these are mirrored. I'm going to go for it and see if they are. Why? Because I'm tired of working on it, and i got a tutorial that's calling my name right now to be edited. Okay, flip them. See if you can see that too. And this one's got three pieces. That's unusual. Jay, you're going to risk it? Yeah, it's only a handful of parts. We can get a little brave here. So what I do the build on this, we're gonna do when I do the when I do the thing, we're gonna talk about all the characters. And then when I do the cast, I'll do the 360 tour. We'll do a demonstration, and then we'll do a close-up tour of the castle, and then the review. But in order to film it correctly, I will do the I will do the review first. I'll do the review. And then we'll do the whole castle and we'll do the figures last. Okay, what well shows this one goes here. How does that go in? Okay. Oh, it goes like this. Well, that's kind of a. Is that how that's supposed to go? Yeah, it's not finished underneath. So I guess it just rests on these tiles here. And I'm assuming that this one here does the same thing. And this is starting to come up. <laughs> it's falling apart, huh? And then we just did that one. Skip all that. We just did this. And, yeah... And then we're ready for bag 10 that's going to finish this up. So what we'll do here, and it won't let you exit out. God forbid if it does that. I wish I could mark it as not complete yet. It just jumped to the next building guide. 
Can I undo that? Can I just say I haven't built it yet? Nope, we gotta wait for it to load up again. I need an internet connection. Isn't that cool? And it's slow. All right, well, while that garbage is loading up, and I'm gonna say that firmly, because this software that they have on my tablet is not the best. Okay, it does leave me where I left off. Okay, cool. So we'll come back and we'll continue bag. We'll do bag 10 in the next installment, but that's what we have remaining for bag nine. Because I gotta sort all that out today. And let's kind of run through everything real quick here. We didn't even use the ding, ding, ding thing. But if you've noticed, all the stuff we put together, we hadn't put anything together yet. Let me back the camera away here and I'll show you. I mean, I'm already losing interest in this set, but this is a nail in the coffin here, another nail. Yeah, um, let me make sure it's sharp for you. And then we've just done this. I'm assuming this probably goes in the middle here. I don't know. Probably goes like that. I don't have a clue. We have all these accessory parts, and we haven't even put one... We haven't put the main thing together yet. And this is reminding me of an old Minecraft set. Let me turn off the tab. I don't need to be... This thing is uh, it's starting to get warm. Turn that off real quick there. No. I mean, it's got an old battery in it, but I still don't want to kill it. Maybe this is the back side of the castle. This is the front side. What's the box show? Okay, so this is actually the front of the castle here. I mean, we don't know. We haven't got to put anything together yet. So I'm just going to kind of set this up here. And, and I'm going to be honest with you. Right now, this build is boring. Am I happy with the results? Uh, you know... It's not a playable model, so I really can care less about it, to be honest. But it's supposed to go together. I don't know what it's doing yet. And then we're going to set everything up here because I'm going to have to make a thumbnail. We'll just do that while we're here. And so far, that's my feelings on this set. It's uh, so far up one bags one through nine. It's all accessories. Now, we jump to nine. Bag nine worked on this, and bag two continues this. So I don't know if this could be set on separately. So it could be up to maybe, I'd say maybe two, two to three people could build this right now. Well, this is all tangled up. So let's start setting all this stuff out here for you guys. Let's put this on the crane here. But honestly, though, I'm kind of not really happy with this. It's just, I'm going to go ahead and just tell you, I'm, it's junky. It's not done yet, but still, it's uh, kind of just, it's kind of junky. <laughs> it's, it, it's just mainly accessories at this point. Well, I'm going to have a lot of fun cropping all that background out of here. I'd just probably do it half-baked and get it done. Let's put the tall stuff in the back here. And then, see what I do is I'll set up for a thumbnail. And I like this punching bag, but that's pretty much about it. So, up through bag nine, this is essentially what we have done today. So well, that's bags one through nine. We got 10, 11, 12, and not one thing is connected together. So if you're building this, make sure you have it on a flat surface or something you can easily move around. A turntable will work best, but this is already getting out of control with terms of things. So you're, already, you're getting a lot of stuff here for the buck. What makes it not appealing is it's just not a complete build. But, oh, excuse me. I gotta get back to doing some work stuff, but tell me what you think of the set so far. And for me, I, I'm just not happy with it. I don't know, I think it's just, it's being dragged out. Lots of accessories, so lots of creatures, but I don't know, I just, 
I have to wait until the build's done for me to give my final judgment on it. 